So I just picked up a new Honda lawnmower. I'm going to do the unboxing and show you how it looks when I go to cut the grass. Let's go ahead and start tearing into this. Got the bag. Instructions in oil. Okay, the grass catcher for the bags underneath. She's a beast. And the grass catcher. I'm assuming, <laughs> without looking at the directions, I'm assuming it goes like this, and like this, and then the bag will go around that, and that's the side that connects to the uh, lawnmower. Let's just see. Handle up, Honda up. Hot day today, that's why I'm doing it in the shade. You can probably hear a couple people cutting their lawns. That's <laughs> you want the handle on the outside of the bag so you can actually grab it and use it. Beautiful. So it's saying remove all film before use. Okay, so up first, just removing all the plastic. So up next, I guess, I'll see about, oh, this is a, these are pull pins, and then there's little holes on the side. Okay, so let me just see on this first level how it feels. Feels pretty good. That's on the second level. And that feels a bit low. So I'll go back to the first one. Yep. That feels the best for me. Yep, so for me, the first level feels like the best height. And I really like, this is that Nexus deck. So yeah, this deck is pretty cool. It's a rust proof deck. So it also has an on off for the fuel. So this way in line is on. When it's perpendicular, 90 degrees to the line, it's off. So that's pretty cool. Air filter. Uh, each wheel has its own lever to get the height adjusted properly. This comes with a dual blade and two bolts that hold the blade in place. Rust proof deck. So it's pretty cool with this mower is you have a fully open chute for the bag all the way to fully closed with the mulch and a whole bunch of levels in between. It's fully open. I push down on the lever and then that chute that's open starts to close until it's all the way in the fully mulch position and now that hole is completely closed. Another kind of neat feature is it shows you the cutting height from three quarter all the way to four inches. I actually wanted to start it at three. The front wheels are already at three, but the rear wheels aren't. So I'll show you how to adjust those. So right now the rear is actually set to three quarters of an inch. So with the lever, I push towards the camera 
lift the deck and wheel into that three position, which is right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So now you can see there's the two, the two and a half, and the notch is right where the three is. A lot easier on the front, and you can see both of those tabs are right there in the three. So something else that's pretty good with this is it's showing the amount of ounces, 12 to 13.5 fluid ounces, and also telling the type of oil right in the owner's manual. And then they supply a 12 ounce bottle of the 10W30 oil. So I'm gonna add that now. It does have a foil cap, so you'll have to uh, puncture that. And it actually looks like they had a little bit of oil. So another good thing is right on the pull cord for it, it says engine has no oil. So to add before starting the engine. I'm just going to set this on the back of the deck and there's no funnel so just be careful so I'll go ahead and I'll let it sit here for a few seconds okay so now the oil has been added you replace the dipstick screw it all the way down so that's the the locked position untwist it pull it back out and the level is right at the line where it should be. Oops. This is where that tag was. Let's see how the mower looks with the bag in it. Okay, let's try it again. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so the next bit is to fill up the fuel. It's saying not to use anything less than 86 octane. And also, uh, it shouldn't contain more than 10% ethanol. And then in the instructions, there's a lip in here that shows that there's supposed to be a two inch uh, gap with no fuel. And then right there, it's to that marker that's on the inside of the tank. Replace the fuel cap. Makes a little click sound to let you know that it's all done and then finally this comes with a pace so I'll have to engage the blade and then I can push down on this and that will actually control the wheels and how fast it spins there's a min all the way up to a max so I'll probably start about there see how it is and then adjust accordingly let me get this area cleaned up, get the box, get the, get the paper out of the way, and then I'll fire it up and uh, we'll see how the, the pace controls work. So I am going to remove the bag and I might actually have it so it discharges out the back just a little bit until I get used to these controls to see the way I like it. I have to engage the blade control. I'll see if it pulls the start on the first try. That speed control I had originally set to I think about there 
and I had to back it down to about there. That was a nice pace. The other one felt like, you know, I was really running after it. Uh, and I don't have to be, want to be moving that fast while I'm trying to have a mow. But yeah, it's looking great. Let's check the inside here because I had it discharging a little bit. We'll see how it how it looks. Okay, yeah, just a little bit here. And uh, yeah, it's just barely open. It's open about that much. Which I think for right now, that's what I like. Uh, it's given it a chance to really mulch that grass up and then allow a little to come out. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the, uh, the unboxing and uh, going ahead and seeing the first little bit of cutting with my new lawnmower. If you guys have any questions, don't forget, drop them down in the comments. Thanks for coming along, checking out the video. Everybody have a great day.